how to make somebody obey you. He obeys you, she obeys you. These are the topics in the line, how to make them obey. To make them obey, you have to obey yourself. You have to train yourself, you have to discipline yourself. Once your system, your body is disciplined, and then you have control on your body, automatically you have control on the other people too. So how to make people obey means first your system in the body should obey like you know when to drink water, how to drink water, you chew the water, you take fruits before your meals, when there is a palpitation you keep hands on your head, accident victims you do not rush up to give them water or if somebody is very tired or um, they they they're having a difficulty don't give them water allow them to lie down first all those small things are your disciplines of your life you always when you brush your teeth you take your finger and press the gums gums becomes very powerful after every meal you go and rinse your mouth 16 times so that when water is in the mouth there is hardly any disease entering your body. Once you are disciplined, once you take a chair, you know to keep it back. Such things, if you do, you can make others obey you also. Others, you don't have to make others obey you. Others follow you. That's what they call followers. They are not seekers. They become followers. Once they become followers, you can help them to become seekers. The ten bulls of Zen Kakuan. Today is the fifth day, taming the bull. The whip and rope are necessary. Else he might stray off down some dusty road. Being well trained, he becomes naturally gentle. Then unfettered, he obeys his master. The whip and rope are necessary. Hence the Japanese kids were taught that they will not leave the class if the teacher has not scolded them or whacked them. One small punishment beating. Because they know the mind is so much wavering because of the massive army, invading army of in the name of culture, in the name of intelligence, in the name of information through the social media to the television, huge amount of army is invading like a locust. It can tear you into pieces. And it is tearing you into pieces you are not knowing. The media is so powerful. They made you a nobody. You have become a nobody. When you became a nobody, then they, do, they want only you for a small time of their work, small time of the work, like a dead body. You must try to understand that the whip and the rope are necessary. Hence, in the Japanese tradition, even though America invaded and took over, Japanese refused to accept the foreigners' culture. They know a foreign culture was an invading army. They have no love for your country. They have entered the country to rob you in the name of democracy in the name of freedom. They made several countries poor. Hence they made sure that the mind is so much chanchala, disturbed, that no doctors, no medicine in the world were able to solve that problem. Hence they came to the cheapest level of small, small diseases of giving you medicines, injecting you medicines. Medicines and another drugs Indirectly, they tell you, don't take drugs, don't take drugs. But they are already injecting you every day with the drugs and made you a nobody. They did not even allow you to think. They did not even allow you to see. did not even allow you to breathe. did not even allow you to listen. The whip and rope are necessary. Hence, they said, uh, every day, boom. But in India and other countries, if, if you scold a child, even there is a rule in the government department says education department no student you shall have no no teachers have got the right to scold and beat so beating and whacking is too different you are beating because that is 
an insult. You are beating because you are torturing. But a whack is to make them remind. If the child is ready, then whack. Boom. Ah, oh, sh thank you. Thank you, teacher. So happy that you connected me. That whack made me to relate to you. That scolding related to me. That scolding is for something to connect you to the question, to the answer, to you, to the teacher. But here it has taken it as a negative thing because the teacher himself was not taught. The teacher was tortured but not whacked. Teacher was unnecessarily scolded but not discussed. So the whack is very, very important. Hence, to control the mind, you go to a guru, you go to yoga class. You do a lot of physical exercises to control each part of the body for the blood to move powerfully for the food what you're given to go to the body to energize the body to strengthen the body when strength is there in every part every part not one part